Thank you. Um, so we have questions from the panel. I believe you do, Scott. Uh, I have a couple questions. Uh, Mr. Prince, you mentioned in your opening remarks the requirement in the Bank Holding Company Act that uh, the organization, combined organization, conform its non-banking activities to the limitations of the act. In particular, you, you noted that insurance underwriting is not a permissible activity at this point. Uh, if the uh, current law is not changed, is, uh, can Travelers Group, the combined Travelers Group, realistically meet the requirements of the Bank Holding Company Act? And how will the proposed cross-marketing services that you hope to do uh, affect the ability of the company to meet those requirements? The uh, companies within Travelers Group and the companies within the combined city group are operated as separate, independently viable companies. Each company is separately staffed, separately organized, has its own board of directors. The company uh, in the insurance business, Travelers Property Casualty, for example, is not only separately organized, it is already publicly held in part. It's already listed on the New York Stock Exchange. And the companies will continue to be operated in that fashion. The cross-marketing activities will not involve any combination of the company's staffs or organizations in a way which would prevent the orderly uh, restructuring of the company in the event that were to become necessary. So the short answer to your question, Mr. Alvarez, I believe is that yes, we would be able to comply with the requirements even if the law did not change. And if it became necessary at some point, for example, to spin off the insurance companies, they would be strong, independently viable companies. And our company would continue to be strong and independently viable. And there's nothing in the cross-marketing that would change any of that. I, I had another question. Uh, the, a number of commenters <coughs> have expressed concern that the combined Travelers City Group would, as far as LMI, loan moderate income individuals and communities be concerned, perhaps be worse than the sum of the parts of the two organizations. Uh, in part because the new organization might target low and moderate income and minority individuals and communities from marketing higher cost lending and higher cost insurance products. How is it that, uh, that Citigroup, if this transaction is approved, would ensure that all individuals in uh, all communities will have access to the full range of products, including lower cost products uh, that might be available uh, through the organization? Well, I guess I would first say that um, the record shows with regard to Citibank and with regard to travelers that, and I can certainly speak more specifically to Citibank, that we already do today provide uh, extensive credit to low and moderate income communities. And we have made a pledge to continue to do that going forward. 